All right, well, hello and good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're at in the world. And uh, super glad you guys could all make it to tonight's webinar. And I'm really, really, really excited about this training because uh, my 2014 is like freaking already insanely epic. And uh, I'm like super stoked to share what I've learned with you all so far. I think we're like this 45 uh, days into the year. So uh, this is my first training of the year. And if you're hearing my voice right now, my name is AJ Amix. I am the Creator's Mentor. I am the host of Amix TV and the founder of the Passion Penor Academy, where I train authors, speakers, coaches all over the world on how to get clear, gain confidence, and create an online empire so that you can work from anywhere in the world, spend more time with your family and friends, and actually get paid to do something that you actually enjoy. So now tonight's training is going to be called How to Create Nearly Unlimited Leads. Hey, guess what? I just messed up the good old webinar technology. Let me get back to our screen. Here we go. So how to create nearly unlimited leads using uh, Twitter without spending a single penny. Now, as people are coming on right now, I'm going to tell you my background just really quick because there's many of you guys on, many of you gals on who are on tonight, and uh, this is your first experience with me. And so you may not know really who I am or why you should even listen to me. And so right after I tell you this short, brief story, I'm then going to hop right into tonight's training, teaching you the exact strategy that I've been using to reach over 70,000, 76,000 people, um, adding new people to my email list almost daily and setting up appointments with potential clients and joint venture partners on a global level. I mean, I'm talking about, I'm connecting with people in Bali. I'm connecting with people here just in the States, like in Austin, Texas. So um, if this sounds good to you guys, just tap, type uh, yes there in the chat box. Awesome, awesome. Julie, good to see you. Clark, right on. John, sweet, glad you guys are here. Cool, so here we go. Let's get into the story. So who am I and what is my story? Well, I started out knowing nothing about the internet or marketing uh, because I grew up in a small town in East Texas called Seven Points. Now. The only businesses in the city, they were either a gas station, a liquor store, or a bar. That's it. And that's why the locals called it Seven Pints instead of Seven Points. Now, unlike many of the locals, I was never really a big drinker. But, um, you know, I did have really big dreams. And this led me to playing guitar in a band called Trade Cities and touring throughout the Midwest. We had this 38-foot tour bus. We had radio play here in Dallas, Texas. And we actually received two offers from record labels. And you can actually see me performing a late night show here at Cornerstone Festival. Um, that was towards the bottom center. My hair is all crazy. Lights were crazy that night on the stage. It was a late, a really late show, about 12 a.m. for us. And then you can see another picture of me on the bottom right, uh, asleep on in the recording studio on the couch, right? The, the hard life of being a musician. Now, during my music career, we were an independent artist, meaning that we did not have any label support. You know, we did everything on our own. And now, even though I was performing, I was in charge of the management, the marketing, the tour logistics, like everything that it takes to pull that whole gig off. Now, I didn't know anything about how to use the internet, but I did know that if I could master it, um, if I would have known how to do it, I would have been able to share a message in our music with a lot more people. And my goal was to inspire them to embrace their Friday night essence. Their Friday night essence is this, this thing that they do after work or this thing that they do on weekends for fun. And I'm not talking about like this sex, drugs, and rock and roll here. I'm talking about like after all of that, like what's the thing that gets you really, really excited? Like what is your purpose for living? Now, since I didn't know anything about marketing and I had very little money, I committed myself to reading as many books on marketing as I possibly could. Now, as I fast forward to 2009 at the pinnacle of our music career, we really weren't getting along as band members, and so we decided to split ways. And within six months, everything I knew about life was pulled out from underneath me. From October of 2009 to March of 2010, my music career was gone. Um, I lost a girl I loved, and my parents decided to get a divorce after 25 years of marriage. You can see our picture here, all in black at a funeral. 
this was actually just months uh, prior, about four months prior to hearing the, the crazy news. And I didn't have like a source of revenue coming in. And my good old SUV, as you can tell right here in the picture, it wasn't working. And with the help of my ego, I had managed to distance every single person I loved. Now, all of this change, it left me asking one simple question, which is, what is the purpose of my existence? And after months of reading and meditation and praying and listening, a small, gentle voice said to inspire millions to pursue their passions. Now, that brings us to today. And since March of 2010, when I really didn't know anything about internet marketing, I've gone on to have companies pay me up to $30,000 to work with them. And I've created programs that have helped people around the world understand how to use technology to attract customers, create programs, and actually make money from their knowledge. You'll see in this picture, there's a group of uh, a mastermind I put together. Um, Ian was there in the UK. Lori right here is in Canada. Julie's in San Francisco. And then Cheryl's here in Dallas. And then here in this picture, I had people literally from all over the states drive in to a town in Corsicana, Texas, and come out and listen and learn um, at one of my live events. Now, at this live event that we talked about, I've actually had people, they pay like $3,000 a ticket just to be there. And so now I spend the majority of my time helping creators who are authors and their speakers and their coaches to get clear, gain confidence. And create an empire. Now, I believe each one of us has a divine talent, and if we choose to step into our truth, that we can actually get paid to do what we love. Now, we're going to talk about that towards the end of this webinar, and I'm going to throw in some uh, brand new bonuses that I haven't announced towards the end, which is only going to be for the people who stick around to the very end. And I'll even share an opportunity that's going to allow you to get some sweet, sweet training and some tools that's going to rock your business. So if this sounds good to you guys, just raise your hand using the control panel. Awesome. Awesome. I see all the hands being raised here coming in. I like it. I like the love. All right, cool. So let's get on with this training. Tonight's training is going to be for the people who are authors, they're speakers, life coaches, maybe you're a fitness coach, a health coach, a business coach, dating coach, musician. Um, if you can serve people globally or thinking about serving people globally, um, this is going to be like totally up your alley. Now, if you want an exact plan of action of how to just like do things and know what you need to do four days a week to get leads, this is going to be for you. So I want you to get out a pen and paper and follow along. Now, if you're someone who is, let's say, lazy or you're looking for some type of magic bullet or maybe you're looking for some type of get rich quick scheme, I'm going to tell you right now, you may just want to go ahead and close this window, get off the webinar. I'm telling you, this is not going to be for you. Um, so I just highly recommend you leave. Now, I will always keep it real with you because I don't want to waste your time. I, I know your guys' time is valuable, right? I mean, you guys are awesome. And I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for joining me this evening. Now, here's the two major problems that I'm seeing. Number one problem is people have and businesses have are dying due to a lack of exposure. You see, they're suffering from this lack of exposure. And what happens when we suffer from a lack of exposure long enough is that we perish, right? So I want you to think of it this way. If you were kidnapped right now and you were stuck in a cave, which is kind of like this guy, you probably wouldn't have a smile on your face. But if you were stuck in a cave with no exposure to light, no light whatsoever, not even the flashlight like this guy has, no light, no food and no water, you're going to die, right? You're going to die because we as humans, we have to have exposure to sunlight, food, and water for our survival. Now, this is interesting because our business, our gift, it's the exact same way. If we go long enough without exposure, our internal confidence and our certainty dies. See, what's interesting is there is absolutely nothing wrong with us or our offering. Like, we are fine. Our offering is fine. It's just that without this exposure, without people knowing we exist, we start doubting ourselves. 
And as a result, we give up. Now, here's the second problem I'm seeing. Problem number two is most people don't truly know who their target market is, right? So I need you to ask a question, is your marketing foundation clearly established? You know, have you taken the time to truly identify your target market? Let me give you an example. Let's say you worked for five years, five damn years developing the best, cleanest, healthiest branded dog food known to humankind. I mean, this, this stuff, this dog food, it cures any dog from any disease. I mean, it eliminates fleas, it eliminates ticks, it even eliminates those pesky ear mites. That, my dog like suffer from ear mites. He's a Weimaraner and he gets the damn ear mites all the time. We gotta take him to the vet. We gotta put the antibiotics. Anyway, this dog food is gonna cure the ear mites and it's even going to eliminate the hip dysplasia, like in the big dogs. Like my dog, he's a huge dog. And you know, since he's big, he has hip dysplasia. Now, if your dog food could do this, this would be like some miraculous stuff, right? And you've tested this dog food on your own pets. You've tested this dog food on your friend's pets. And so you know that you know that you know that it works. And so you get up your confidence and you go out and you talk to one person, but you know they don't believe you. And so this leaves your, your confidence level a little bit shaken a bit. And so you become hesitant to go out and talk with more people. And over a period of time, since you got, you know, your feelings hurt, your confidence shaken because you didn't expose yourself to a lot of people, just one, you're then willing to settle for a current lifestyle and you're willing to let your dream die. Or here's another example. Same example, dog food. Let's say you haven't taken the time to identify who your true target market is. And you are out there though, and you're just like marketing your ass off. I mean, you're one of those people who's going to event after event after event, but you're just not making any sales. I mean, like none. And so you look at yourself and you're like, what in the hell is wrong with me? I mean, here I am with this great product that cures any pet disease for dogs and no one wants it. So, you know, maybe they're right. Maybe this dog food just doesn't work. Right? I mean, this leaves your confidence shaken. This leaves your, your certainty level shaken. And then you buy into this false belief that you and your product or service isn't good enough. But see, the truth was that every single event that you went to, it was for cat owners. The whole time, the real reason that the people didn't buy your badass dog food was because they all own cats, right? Right? I've been there, right? We've all been there. And thankfully tonight, we're going to learn the exact strategy to overcome these two huge marketing challenges. So what if I told you that the thing, the thing that would solve your exposure crisis is lying dormant underneath your fingertips? And no, I'm not talking about Facebook. I'm not talking about Pinterest. I'm not talking about Instagram. I'm not even talking about LinkedIn. See, what I am talking about is the good old Twitter. Like the biggest thing people are overlooking right now. Seriously, guys, I want to show you my stats for the past two days. Two days, right here. Estimated reach, 70,622. Estimated exposure impressions, 102,448. Two days, right? And if you want to, go to tweetreach.com, put in uh, your at handle of your Twitter account, and this is going to pull up the data. If you don't want to believe me, go to tweetreach.com, put in my Twitter handle. You can look into the data if it's been updated, okay? So now, how do we pull this off? Like, how do we pull off these you know, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of exposures, and how do we get leads from this, okay? Well, first off, we need to understand Twitter has an incredible 170 million active users. Active users, not just users, active users. This is important. And more than 400 million tweets are sent daily, okay? Twitter has changed the game. It's been around for a pretty good time as far as social goes. But I'm telling you, people are sleeping on Twitter if you're not using it. Now, Twitter has this reputation of being an online newsroom. 
but it's no longer simply a channel just to find news articles and chat with friends and discover funny pictures. It's great for that, by the way. But it's become better. It's become a tool for businesses for us to engage and drive meaningful results if we choose to embrace the platform. This is free stuff, guys. Now, I wanna go over the 10 steps that you're going to need to understand. These are 10 steps you must understand and implement to pull off the strategy we're going to be going through tonight. So what's gonna happen here is I'm going to outline these 10 steps, and then I'm going to go into screen share and showing you how to pull off and implement these 10 steps. But if we don't know the theory first, then me just showing you is not going to make any sense. Okay. So number one thing about Twitter, 10 steps to gain massive exposure. Focus number one is focus on relationship building. Relationships are the most powerful tool that we have in sales, period. Always has been, always will be. At the end of the day, whether the internet is here or the internet is sucked up by Al Gore and aliens, okay? relationships are going to be crucial to our human experience and to us transacting courtesy, right? Relationships are also the most affordable tool in our belt, okay? Every interaction that we have on Twitter should be with the same intention of building a relationship with that user. Whether it's making a connection with an influencer, meaning somebody who has a strong Twitter uh, presence, somebody who's been tweeting with people a lot, they, they have a lot of followers, you know, they have a lot of clout, whether it's a competitor, a new prospect, or even an existing customer. Each interaction should serve the purpose of strengthening a relationship. Now, being relentless about relationships means working with a sales model that is not just like valuing the, the relationships, but you're making them a priority, meaning you're going to make an effort to connect with people. You're going to set an intent to connect with people and this whole idea on connecting with people and this is kind of important is understanding your intent behind it i get tweets on a weekly basis and even facebook messages for that matter because people connect with me on twitter then they want to take the relationship deeper and so they connect with me on facebook then we start our conversations on a deeper level there and they're like man i just had to reach out to you because i like your energy right they have no other reason to reach out to me besides they like my energy meaning the energy that's being conveyed when I tweet, the energy that's being conveyed upon the pictures I use, the energy that's being conveyed upon the website and the online presence I've established. These people are in the United Kingdom. These people are in Canada. These people are here in America. I'm here outside of Dallas, Texas. And these people are picking up on my intent and my energy. And I don't believe this is just me that experiences this, even in an online world. I believe people everywhere globally will be picking up on your intent. So it's really important to be setting your intent when it comes to relationship building. Not trying to get too woo-woo-y on you, but um, it's just the truth of this, this thing, right? So let's look at the second step. Second step is you need to retweet content that your audience is going to find relevant. So what in the hell is a retweet? Well, a retweet means somebody has tweeted. They've created a status update. They tweeted a 140-character status update. And a retweet is you sharing that content. It's a little button called retweet. I'll show you all this, how it makes sense in a second. So you meaning, okay, retweet is meaning that you only share the content from others, but you only want to share this content that's going to serve your people. You don't want to just sh sh like, uh, share and retweet random content just because. You want to make sure you're curating content on your platform for your industry. Like, for instance, I know my man Dan is on, on the call tonight and on this training tonight, and he's up to some really, really cool stuff in the astrology world and also kind of how astrology plays into where you live at in the world and how where you live at impacts your business and how it impacts your ability to with your family, your life in general. Like, you either live in an area that's supporting you or hindering you, right? So he would only want to sh uh, share content that's going to be based upon his message for his people. I need you guys that Twitter is more than just a broadcast medium. So while it's important to be regularly sharing your own content, you need to be sharing content from others. And in fact, about 15 to 20% of your tweets should be retweeted content. 
And like I've, I can't emphasize this enough, specifically the content needs to come from uh, thought leaders or industry influencers. And this is going to help you guys start being on their radar, right? This is kind of comes back to the whole idea. You scratch their back, they scratch yours. You find out who the people are on there that um, are, are tweeting and have a lot of authority within your industry and you're sharing their information. Um, you're becoming friends. A lot many times if you will reach out and share their stuff just because usually they'll start sharing yours. And when Somebody of authority on Twitter shares your content. It gives your account more clout, more weight, right? So you can also use retweets as a way to share some testimonials with your existing network. So like, let's say um, if you find a customer that's tweeting positively about you, your business, your brand, you can then share their tweet by using the retweet function to give that positive mention more reach because they said, hey, to their audience, this is what I like going on this is great and you're going to retweet it which shares it with your audience so you're you're um, getting that tweet more re more reach so retweeting is a great way to compliment the original tweeter as well meaning like if you find some good content you re you retweet it it's like telling this person hey th great job this is some really good information i greatly appreciate you and the time you've taken to create this great content so it's like a good pat on the back now here's my rule when it comes to the whole retweeting thing let me grab some water is that you need to figure out what in the world do you stand for, right? What do you stand for? What is your voice? What is your brand? Who's your target? What are you willing to stand for? And then once you know that, you want to share the really good, got, the really good content that's based upon your stand. So let me give you an example. I personally stand in my business. I am a personal brand. So I stand for spending time with my family, traveling, meditation, green smoothies, business, marketing, and inspiration, right? So I share great content based on those things. I go out and I seek content based on those things using the Twitter search feature. And I'll, I'll show you how to do this here in a second, okay? <clears throat> so now let's look at the third thing. You need to be sharing content that's going to be adding value, just like this picture. This camera is adding immense amount of value to these, these children. They're seeing something and they're like, this is awesome, right? So your job needs to come in and to solve your target's market's needs. You are their hub for the solutions in your industry. Now, this is why it's crucial to take the time to really identify your target market. Because once you have an understanding of what your followers want, and need, then you can deliver content that adds value and, <clears throat> and improves their life in some way. Now, this can be an ebook explaining how to fix something, how to get something um, that they're frustrated with, or an article, or a blog post, or a link to a video that you created that's going to help relieve a current pain for them. You're becoming a doctor and you're giving them solutions to the problems in their lives. Now, the point is, is that you're helping your followers solve their problems. You're helping them to satisfy a need or an answer a question. And the content you're sharing is making a positive difference in their lives. Now, here's the fourth thing. Fourth thing is you need to engage with people. You need to be asking people what they are working on or what they have going on in their world, right? So when I connect with people, I'm going to show you how to do this. I literally ask them when they say, hey, I'm glad we connected or thanks for the follow. I will ask them things like, um, hey, how are things going in your world? Now, I know this sounds strange, but people like to talk about what they're up to. And the good old Zig Ziglar once said, help enough people get what they want and you'll eventually get what you want. Now, I've experimented with this concept for some time. And when I started doing this, when people would say, hey, thanks for following me. I would say, hey, you're most welcome. How are things in your world? Now, see, what I found out apparently is that everything in the world is either good, fine, wonderful, or amazing. Meaning like no problems ever existed. Now, as a marketer and business owner, this is like bad, bad, bad news because my job is to solve people's problems. And if the problems don't exist, then I don't get paid because everything is fine and dandy. Now, I knew this wasn't true, so I changed my question to these people. And then I started asking, well, hey, you know, you're most welcome. I'm glad we could connect. What's going on in your world? Or I asked, what are you working on in your world? Or I asked, 
what are your goals for the year? Now, this approach was golden because this opened up the floodgate to building relationships, like just like opened it up. And now the reason is because these people had to respond in a short but in-depth manner if they chose to. See, what I discovered is it's pretty much about 90% of the people are going to respond to the question. And based upon the question that the, based upon the answer that they answer to the question, I then ask another question. And now if you've ever studied anything about sales or anything from Brian Tracy, then you know that the person who's asking the questions is in control of the conversation. Now, even though that the person who's asking the questions, we're not saying much, we're literally asking a simple question, we're guiding the conversation. So this is kind of sneaky, right? This is like sneaky sales tactics. But it's really not all that sneaky because here's the caveat. I don't ask the questions because I'm some sleazy sales guy. I'm asking the questions because I'm actually genuinely interested in what's going on with these people. Now, there's several reasons I'm interested. One, I'm, I'm qualifying these people to see if they're a good fit for what I have going on. But two, I'm, I'm trying to see how can I assist them or do I know somebody that can assist them in what they have going on? So again, this goes back to the good old Zig's uh, philosophy. And this is what I'm telling you guys. Whatever your intent that you set when it's coming to build these relationships, it's really cr like critical that you set a really good intent that you truly want to connect with people. I found Twitter is like walking into a networking event. And if your, your intent is just to grab business cards, you can do that, but you're not going to get business. But if your intent is to come up and build relationships and talk to people about their likes and their dislikes and what they got going on, what they don't have going on, um, then you, you, you really, truly develop relationships and you get business from it. Now, here's the fifth thing. You need to have a content calendar and be consistent. And I'm going to show you my content calendar here in a little bit. So if you try this approach that I'm going to outline right now and I'm going to show you and you quit within the next 30 days. Long term, you're going to fail. No bullshit. And as my good friend Moses Uvere always says, I'm just keeping it 1,000. Now, I really don't even know what I'm just keeping it 1,000 means. I just like hanging out with my rapper buddies and swiping their lingo every now and then because I think it's kind of funny. So I'm just going to keep it 1,000 with you, meaning just going to keep it real. So here's what you need to do. I found out that you need to be tweeting nine times per day, Monday through Sunday. That's what's working really, really good for me. And you need to create a content strategy, that, content strategy that's based upon you, your voice, your brand, and your topic. You need to become a voice who's crying out in the desert. Don't, don't just retweet people. Don't just mention people like the same time, right? You want to change up the types of tweets that you can pose, meaning like a quick tip or like an inspirational quote or celebrate today or something personal that's going on in your life. I mean, it doesn't mean like super personal, but it's like, hey, I'm having co uh, coffee with a great friend today or the, the stars are beautiful this evening. You know, it's something that personal lets people know that you're real. Now, here's the sixth step, and this is what makes everything kind of work. So I call it playing the follow game. Now, this is what makes everything like truly run, okay? So if we think of this as a car, um, your content, your profile on Twitter, it's kind of like the frame, it's the body, it's the paint job, it's the mirrors, it's everything like that. But the follow game is like the 6.0 LS2 V8 motor. And so for those of you who are on tonight who aren't car people, just understand that it's a sweet, badass, really fast motor. That's all you need to know, okay? So here's how I do it. Let me pull up um, a new window here. Just hang with me. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So the, here's what I do. I go into and I try to follow. I, I know who my target market is. Here I am on Twitter. And so I go on and let's say I know people, my market is very similar to Marie Forleo's market. Okay. Marie Forleo has a ton of people. Let me find. Here she is right here. I mean, she has like 80 something thousand followers. Yeah. 83,200 followers. Okay. So I come into her followers. This is the people who's following Marie. So I know if like Erica Herman, she's a nutritionist, best-selling author, hype blaster, heretic, uh, doxy lover, 
You know, she wrote Eat Like a Fat Ass, Look Like a Goddess, right? The Untold Story of Healthy Foods. Perfect for me and what I have going on. Could be a potential client, right? So what would I do? I come follow her. I scroll down. Here's Michael Brazel, um, soul intuitive healer, poet, teacher. He may be a good a good person. I don't know. Here's Lynn Newman, spiritual midwife. She's a resilient woman, wife, mom, decluttering geek. She may be a good person. So I follow her. I'm Charles, founder of Predictable Profits. He's created the growth uh, factor. He's a marketer, crossfitter. He may be a good potential client. Don't know. Here's Lisa. Positively positive, fantastical things happen when you keep your thoughts on the bright side. She may be. So here's what I'm doing, guys. My market is here. A whole 83,000 of them is right here. So what I do Monday through Thursday is I pull out my phone or a timer. I use my phone as a timer. And I set a timer for 15 minutes. And I follow as many of these people as I can. I make sure they have a picture of a person. I make sure that they've taken the time to fill out their biography. This allows me to know that they're, they've taken the time to do it, so maybe they're pretty serious about what they got going. Here's Melissa Joe. She's a health coach. Boom, she's a good follower. And let's see, uh, here's uh, Lolita Lindsay, right? So I just go here through 15 minutes following people, and once the timer goes off, I turn it off, and then I, I, I exit out. I, I get out of this, right? I go back to my profile. I'll go about whatever else I'm going to do about for my day. But that's literally the follow game. That's what I do. Now, here's why this works. When you follow somebody, they're sending, they're sent an email. Let me show you this, right? So, okay, literally, I just followed Michael Brazel. You guys remember that. I just followed it. I received an email that says Michael Brazel now is following you on Twitter. So let's see, when I follow somebody, it notifies them that they followed you. And then they for, they will then say, they'll come to you usually. And they're like, well, who's this AJ guy? And they're going to come to my profile. And then based upon the way my profile set up, is they're going to choose to follow me. Or more importantly, they're going to visit my website. And when they like, who is this AJ that guy? And they come to my website here, right? Let's let this load. But they're going to see a video that's going to talk to my tip, my uh, my market about their problems or possibilities, and then it's going to give them something, the opportunity to give them something that's going to solve a problem in their world, right? So this gives them the Passionpreneur Blueprint. It's a step-by-step -step blueprint to creating your own online program, build an empire, and get paid because it helps them stop their overwhelm in their business because I know the people in my market are overwhelmed. They don't know what the step-by-step -step actions to take. So many times, these people on Twitter, I follow them, they follow me, they're interested, they click on my website, it drives traffic to my website, they're then presented with a free offer, they then come into an experience by putting their name, their email address, and then getting the free thing. They're then on my email list where I can start continuing to share content, but also share offers for them to purchase stuff or to set up appointments with me or them in the future. It works great, right? So let's look at the, my results of the follow game just today. Now I went in and I followed people starting about one o'clock today, okay? So this is 50 people so far, um, and here's about another 25. So I really started about 110, 109 today I started, and then I did it for 15 minutes and I quit following. About 15 people, 30 people followed me back today. And then here's a whole nother page of nothing but following, 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 following that's following you, right? So I added, uh, I, and I know where, what number I was at. I was at like 3198. So I've added like a little over 60 followers just for the day. And if we come back over here, the more important thing, um, let's see, we had people who signed up for the webinar right now, right? That we had people, right? Let's see, uh, Jackie signed up for the webinar. Astra signed up from the webinar. Shannon signed up for the webinar, right? Three leads. Frank came into my website, got the Passionpreneur Blueprint. So here's four people who just came in just today, okay? So this is awesome. This is good news. So that's what needs to be happening when it comes to the follow game. That's all there is to the follow game. Like I told you guys, this is like simple, simple stuff but it's a pain in the ass because it's all about consistency. And as you commit to doing it, 
you're going to create momentum and momentum and momentum. And when I see, I have a little bit over 4,000, a little over 4,200 people now. When I started this game in September, I had about 600. So I've grown that fan base and I've grown my list extensively just by doing that. So let's get back here in the presentation, okay? So here's the follow game. That's the follow game. Next thing is we need to understand that you need to have a profile picture that is you. People want to connect with people. They don't want to connect with logos. They don't want to connect with avatars or cartoon characters. They want to connect with a real human being. Use your picture. That's going to represent you. A current picture, by the way. Um, don't be like those real estate agents who have like pictures of themselves when they were like 15 or 18 years old, and then you go and meet them and they're like 50. And you're like, what? It's not even you. I don't know. It's weird. Don't do that. Have a profile picture that's you. Step eight, have a bio that's short and descriptive. Now, I use one, two, three, four words. Very simple words. Business coach, I'm a designer, I'm a musician, and a word I made up myself, which is a passion entrepreneur. Okay, or I heard it somewhere. I don't know. People say I made it up. I don't know. Maybe I did. Here's the deal, though. When people first come into my profile, they know exactly who I am. They can see that I'm a business coach consultant. They know that I'm a designer. I was a musician. I still play a little bit, but not professionally right now. And then this word creates crazy conversations with people. That's been actually really good. But here's the other thing that's been really helpful. Is I go on to say, I help women all around the world who are authors, speakers, and coaches create programs and get paid. So when I'm connecting with my target market, they're wondering who I am. They come here. They see a picture of a real human being. They have words that describe me that's like, hmm, this is interesting. But then I say, this is who I help, and this is how I help them. If they're a woman, and they're an author, speaker, a coach, and they're wanting to create a program and get paid, then guess what happens? They visit the website. And then guess what happens? The website is optimized and set up in a way that gives them the free thing that gets them into a funnel. And then they're strategically taken through a marketing process, and they're converted into a customer, right? Okay, so this this making sense? Cool. The next thing, step nine, is have a custom header image. You do all this within uh, Twitter. I'll show you here in a second. But here's a picture of a, from a live event I was doing. This is the camera. These are people. So this is just a custom branded um, image. Next thing you want to have is you want to have a branded background. This is like expert positioning, packaging. I learned this in the music industry. You know, people say, well, people don't judge or don't judge a book by its cover. Here's the reality. People always judge books by their covers. And based upon how you're showing up online when people are Googling you, is either helping you get a sell or hindering you from getting a sell. I always teach all my students, anybody I work with, that your offline confidence has to be congruent with your online presence and vice versa. Your online presence needs to be congruent with your offline confidence if you're going to be well paid. If your online presence is this awesome and stellar and your package great, yet when someone comes into a conversation with you, you're not showing up in your own power and you're not very confident and you're not certain, or not you lose all credibility and you're not going to get paid. On the flip side, if you are super confident, they meet you at a, a chamber event or some type of speaking, they hear you speak and you're speaking with all this power and all of this emotion and all this certainty and confidence and they get online and you don't show up with the same amount of confidence and certainty, people are going to be like, what? What just happened? Okay, that's just the new game. You're going to need to be congruent here. So all you need to do is just upload, you know, go to Fiverr, get somebody to design you a, a custom background, Elance, Odesk, a hire designer, and get somebody to design you a background here that you can upload to um, Twitter. Now, here's what I do is I have something that's package positioning me. I have some media pieces since I've been featured in. I have a, a personal lifestyle photo shoot since I'm a personal brand, but also have the free thing saying, hey, if you want this free gift, go to my website, right? So it's another way to brand upon people. Hey, go to my website to get the cool free stuff, okay? So now let's see how can we actually pull this whole thing off. Let me come into, first of all, we talked about, let me get up here to creating content, okay? So how in the world do we create content? So here is my Twitter calendar. Let me see if I can blow this up a little bit. Uh, let's see here. Boom, boom, boom. 
let's see here let me let me view here let me get this a little bit bigger for you guys because I know here we go zoom and all right let me zoom in one more time here view and we're gonna zoom in let me zoom in one more time view, zoom. I should have had this prepared before what the heck am I thinking crazy all right here we go boom okay so I know you guys can see this now so here's my content calendar created in Excel. This is this is my calendar behind the scenes. Like I said, keeping it 1,000 with you. I promise I'd give you the exact strategy. I always over deliver. Here we go. Monday at 8 o'clock, I do a blog post. Not like a new blog post. I will send people to a blog post just I did back in the day. I commit to doing one blog, a good video blog post uh, once a week. Sometimes I'll do several, but definitely once a week on a Tuesday. So I will drop that new on a Tuesday or on a Monday. And if it's not a new episode, then I'll just take them to an old episode, okay? Because I'm connecting with new people every single day, right? Every single day I'm connecting with new people. So this is new content to them. And it's a great way to drive traffic to my website. But my website isn't just a website. It's not an online brochure. There are ways where people can opt in to get free stuff on every single uh, page of my website, even including my blog. So they go, they read content, it helps them solve a problem, a solution, but then they can put in their name and email address to get more information from me, get the free thing. Nine o'clock on a Monday morning, I retweet, whether this is on green smoothies or um, uh, meditation, right? So how does, how does that work? What, you know, how does this retweet thing? So here's the search feature within uh, Twitter. So I could come up here and type in green smoothie recipes. Boom, green smoothie recipes right here. And here's tweets in real time, 10 minutes ago, 12 minutes ago, one hour ago, of people, you know, giving green smoothies. You know, here's a recipe by Dr. Gina, green smoothie, avocado, kiwi, and spinach. I would check it out. I'd click the link. It would take me to her blog post. If I liked it, then I would then, I could retweet it if I wanted to. But I don't just come in and use... Um, Twitter to, to uh, schedule on my post. So what I do, and like I said, here's my content calendar and why Hootsuite's booting up here, is I schedule everything out Monday through Sunday for the entire week, right? I just follow all this blog posts, with my retweets, a quick tip, quick tip meaning like uh, use your iPhone to create video. It shoots just as good quality as most professional cameras. Personal touch may be something like uh, this evening, I had an amazing dinner with my girlfriend and my dad. We had these great, these great homemade pizzas that Sarah made. They're awesome. That may be a personal touch at noon, right? Or at dinner time. I do a stat on my industry. I go do some research on some stats. I find some blogs that are credible. I find something that's trending, meaning right here on Twitter, it says United States trends, hashtags, grocery sh savings. Um, Malaya, uh, any of these stuff. And if you don't know what it is, like let's say grocery savings, you're like, oh, what in the world's going on? You click grocery savings and it shows um, all the stuff that's trending that people have mentioned on grocery savings. So if that was something I could tie into my brand, I would try to create a tweet just based upon current trends just to expose myself to a bigger, broader audience. And it's kind of fun. And so I made something, spend something like I shop at Brookshire's Hashtag grocery savings. So that's where I shop uh, and I use my points or deem my points, whatever. Something like that. It's just kind of a fun game. It's a new way. It's a way, not a new way, but a way to tap into what's trending on Twitter. This stuff's always changing. Uh, like I said, Twitter is it's crazy, but it's a fun game. Okay. So I find something that's uh, that's there. Now let me come back here. Okay. So then I do a quote, inspirational quote, another retweet, and another blog post. Okay. So I would do that for Monday, and then Tuesday, I would do the same thing. I'd go through my stuff. I'd blog. I ask for a retweet, meaning I say something like, let's look at some of my content. Okay, let's come to me. Here's my content I've been tweeting today. Here we go. So starting now, free training, how to create nearly unlimited leads, and then there's a link to the webinar page, right? Stat, companies expect to double their social marketing budgets over the next five years via at social media today because this is where I got the stat from, was from this these guys, and so I wanted to give them, uh, I want to give them credit where credit is due. Another thing, free training, I'm pulling back the curtain to share the exact steps I've been taking to build my global business, link to the webinar registration page. 
Um, here's a, a, a quote. Winners make a habit of doing the things losers don't want to do by Luke or, uh, Lucas Rimmerswall, right? And then um, how to make meditation a daily practice so you stop skipping it uh, via Ambana app. I use this app. I like them. I like their information. So this was my retweet, okay? We come down here. I then did my blog this morning, which is free workshop tonight, how to create nearly unlimited leads with a link to that. Okay. So that's what happened. But see, I went into Hootsuite. Now Hootsuite's free. If you're not familiar with good old Hootsuite, go to hootsuite.com, sign up. It's absolutely free. But I can come here, I can compose a tweet, and then I can schedule it out for my Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday based upon my content calendar. So I usually spend about three hours on a Monday just scheduling out my tweets for the week so I don't got to think about it. That's it. I, I send them out and that, that's, that's what I do. Now once my content is created, that moves me to the next step of the game, which is connecting with the people. Now if you come into Hootsuite and set up your dashboard, you can see the people who have retweeted your information. You can see the people who have mentioned you and this helps you kind of keep everything um, in order. Sorry, I had to get some more water there. So if I come to Twitter, though, we come up here to the top and we look at connect, okay? Now, this this is something you have to pay attention to or and kind of stay on top of. So I haven't responded to these people within today because my time to respond to the people who have connected with me and mentioned me today is tomorrow morning. Okay, so that starts at eight minutes ago. I'm going to scroll down to about, um, I don't know, about not about 12 hours ago is where I need to start since I just sent out this morning. Okay. Okay, here we go. So we'll just come up here. So like, let's see, I know I, bum, bum, bum. okay, so we'll start here. Angela Clark, we're talking, her and I are dialoguing back and forth about the possibility of me hiring her as a virtual assistant because we connected here on Twitter and it's actually something that I'm potentially looking for if it's a good fit. So, you know, she's telling me, you know, hey, I can help you in this way. It could be like playing Tetris. Obviously, you need to, you know, to get me up to speed with the way your business works, but it should be clear cut from there. And so then I would click here and I would respond to her in the morning when my time is doing that. You know, here's Adam. Now, I asked Adam conversation I asked him what do you have going on in your world here we go because I thanked him for following and uh, I said hey you're welcome Adam what do you have going on in your world and he responds and says hey typical fun day working on some social search engine management projects you this is opening up conversation I mentioned this earlier which is by once I you know if they say hey thanks and they retweet me and then I'm gonna say hey you're welcome what do you have going on in your world this allows me to then understand that well, here's Adam. He's working on some search engine uh, management projects or search engine marketing projects. And he's probably not going to be a good fit for me, but I'm going to let him know what I have going on, right? Which I'm working on a new book, we're drawing a webinar, creating content, leading a group of students, etc. And so here's Cheryl. Today I sent her a tweet, right? So, and, and I'll teach you how to do this great new followers thing. But she said, thanks for the mention. I say, hey, you're most welcome. What do you have going on in your world? And she tells me, hey, I'm finishing up writing a training online, an online training program, improving self-esteem and getting my website ready for late spring, early summer launch. So I would respond to Cheryl in the morning if I wanted to and say, hey, awesome. Sounds like you're rocking it. You know, and I'll probably ask her another question here, which is probably going to go something like, what's your opt-in? You know, what's going to be your giveaway? Uh, when when you launch your site, how are you gonna how are you gonna build your list? That's probably what I'm gonna ask her. This allows us to take the conversation to a deeper level. This is building relationships. Does this take time? Absolutely, it takes time. But if you have more time than you have dollars, this will get you clients, right? And if you're one of these people who's like, well, I don't have time for that, then it's like, okay, good. Then learn how to run pay per click traffic using Google and Facebook. I've been doing that too. It's working great. And if you're one of those people who's like, well, I don't have any money and I'm, I'm giving you the way to get leads without spending any money, but then you're saying, well, I don't have any time Then I'm going to say, well, just continue working at your job and hating your life, right? You, you're going to have to invest money and in time 
to grow your business, right? I'm showing, I'm sharing the framework, okay? So now I've showed you the retweet. I've showed you the relationship building. I've showed you how to add the true value. I'm showing you how to engage with people. I've showed you the, the content calendar. I've showed you my profile. I've showed you my bio. I've showed you the custom header branded background, okay? Before I get into showing you how to set up kind of the branded background kind of overview. Now, when I go, here's what I do. I'm a Gmail user, and Gmail rolled out these, these tabs, the primary, the social, and the promotions tab. And some people love them. Some people hate them. I actually like them a whole lot. So here's social. So all of these people followed me just today. Like literally over 60 people followed me just today, okay? So what I'm going to do first thing in the morning is I keep I keep my social tab and I get rid of all the favorite mentions and stuff like uh, Angela Clark she replied so I'm just going to delete it. So I would open up I'm going to start here. I'd open up Jarvis and I would come in here copy this come into Hootsuite then and I would type something like great new followers and then I paste in his Twitter handle. And then I would delete it out of my inbox, but I'm not going to. And then I would come to this person, and if she's a you know somebody that's a, a cool person, like a fashion entrepreneur chasing dreams and looking to help others along the way. Sounds like a cool, great person to me, okay? So then I would come over to Hootsuite, and I would paste this in there. And I would do this, and you see right here where it says 99, <coughs> excuse me, where it says 99, and then there's more, and the more I type, it tells me that there's less and less characters, right? So I do this until there are about 20 characters left. Sometimes I get down to 16, depending on how many people I put in here. And then I will just, instead of scheduling it, I will just, uh, I will turn the auto schedule um, off. And then I'll, I'll actually click send now, and I'll send it now in the morning, okay? And I do this for every single person that follows me. If they're a real person, meaning they have a good picture, they have a bio, and if they don't have those criteria, then I don't do that. Now, what happens is those tweets get retweeted a whole lot, which exposes me to, which exposes me and my account to their followers, and it opens up um, people like Cheryl, who's saying, "Hey, thanks for the mention." I can then click on Cheryl's profile since she's an active user. And I can say, who's the Cheryl person? And I can see that she's a TV spokesperson. She's inspiring women to do the same. Um, and so I'm like, Man, she's up to some cool stuff. And so then I'll ask her, what do you have going on in your world? Or what are you looking at to accomplish? Or what are your goals for the year? Something that's going to take this relationship to the next level. And this is what starts creating the relationships, okay? That's the other thing that I do. Now, lastly on the interactions, if I come to my Hootsuite, Hootsuite dashboard. I come in here to my publisher and I can see my, my, I don't know, my publisher, I'm sorry, my streams and I can see my inbox. And these are direct messages from people. And so, like uh, Ciara, she, we, we connected on Twitter by following the same process. I randomly followed her randomly, kind of strategically a bit, as you can see. I followed her. We had a conversation and we've been opening up. I've helped her um, some ideas on some launches she's had and stuff. So she, she sent me a direct message here on Twitter that said, "Hey, wanted to pick your part, uh, your brain apart about a book I've been working on. Um, see how I can get funding. Uh, I don't know if this is what you do, but if so, let's talk." And so I responded to her and said, "Hey, Sierra, this is not what I do. Um, reach out to my friend Stella Togo. She's she's that maybe up her alley. Here's her email address." And then she said, hey, you know, you're a saint, thanks. So again, we've created a relationship, a working relationship where we're helping each other and we're going to be able to refer clients to each other. And also, you never know what comes out of literally just helping people, right? It goes back to the good old Zig stuff, okay? So guys, this is the strategy. Now, the other thing we can need to come to is on the following thing. So... After you follow people for four days, 15 minutes every day, doesn't sound like a lot and it's not, but you're going to be following probably, man, probably a thousand or more people a week. I know it sounds crazy. Now, within Twitter, what happens is if this is your first time to Twitter, is you're going to start with zero followers and zero people following. You're going to be following zero and zero people following you. But as you're following people, once you get to 2,000, 
you cannot follow anyone else unless you start having followers. Because they Twitter has this algorithm that says once you're following 2,000 people, you can then only follow 10% more than are following you. So let's say if you're following 2,000 and only 20 people are following you back, then that means you can only follow two more people for the day. That's it. So when it comes to playing what I'm calling the follow game, you're going to have some issues there. So I had to figure out a way to do that. So I stumbled across some software back in the day. And it's called Manage Flitter. Manage and then Flitter, F-L-I-T-T-E-R.com. Manage Flitter. It's free. It doesn't cost you guys anything. They do have a paid account. I stay with a free account because I don't need anything uh, more than that personally. Okay. And if you follow the instructions, you can follow up, unfollow unfollow up to about 2,900 people um, in a day. Now, it's pretty easy. So what does Manage Flitter do? Manage Flitter allows you to see who's following you and see who's not following you. So this is why I say follow people Monday through Thursday. And then don't follow anybody else Friday, Saturday, or Sunday because this gives it a three-day time period, a three-day window for anybody who hasn't followed you to follow you back. And then come Monday, if they haven't followed you back, then unfollow them. So I unfollowed everybody who wasn't following me back today. And today I followed God knows how many people within 15 minutes. And right now, currently 319 people aren't following me back. So come Friday, or actually next Monday, If these people are still uh, not following me, I'm going to come in here and click unfollow, unfollow, unfollow. And I'm going to unfollow all of these people. And it really doesn't take very long. I literally, this morning, I unfollowed probably, I don't know, 900 or 1,200 people in about seven minutes just by sitting here clicking unfollow, 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 unfollow. I mean, it's really easy. It It doesn't take that much time. And by doing this, this allows me, I'm going to come back over to Twitter, to keep the amount of people I'm following as close as possible to the people who are following back so I can continue playing this follow game that's driving the traffic to my website, that's getting people to opt into my list, that's getting people into my email marketing funnel, that's then getting people to uh, into my programs and into my live events. And it's also getting me uh, into conversations with people on Facebook and with the direct message and setting up those conversations because once I see they're a good fit or if there's some synergy within us, I'll just ask them, hey, really would love to know more what you're up to or maybe I could help you on some of the things. Would love to set up a time to chat. Are you interested? This is a good call to action. And they're like, yeah, I'd be interested, right? And that's the way they say, and they, and they, they then DM me, they direct message me on Twitter, their email address, and I'm able to say, hey, I think you'd be a good fit for this. Let's set up a time to talk or Hey, here's uh, how we talk, etc. Okay, so all right, let's get back into the presentation here. So all evening long, I've shared the exact strategy that I'm using to build my global business. Like, guys, this is like the exact strategy that I'm using to build my global business. I am running some pay-per-click ads on Facebook, but this is where the majority of my leads right now personally are coming from is Twitter, okay? So I've been sharing the exact strategies that I'm using. Now, as an author, as a speaker, as a coach, you guys can reach an unlimited amount of people. I mean, unlimited amount of people. But if your entire web platform isn't built correctly and it doesn't have the right elements in place, you're going to struggle because you can... You can reach all the people you want in the world, but if you're not capturing the data, if you're not getting the lead, you're not going to be able to close them, okay? So I need you to understand that these days your online platform and that your list building efforts is the huge foundation to your entire business's future success. And if you're serious, I mean like really serious about wanting to take your business to the next level, and to be able to leverage all of this exposure from implementing tonight's training, to be in a place where you're attracting leads almost daily, where you're sharing your message in a really, really big way, 
and you're able to understand technology where it's easy so you can work from anywhere in the world where you can spend more time with your family and get paid to do something that you love, then I want to share with you guys the Passionpreneur Academy. Now, the Passionpreneur Academy is pretty much a business in a box. It's an on-demand home study program that's designed to jumpstart your dreams. I mean, this is the one-stop shop to learning how to create your online empire. I mean, from learning to build a website, to using WordPress, to identifying your target market, to creating your product and your program, and learning to promote it. With this academy, you're going to learn how to build your website, set up your autoresponders, think like a master marketer, and most likely get paid to do what you love. Now, let's be honest. Building an online business, it consists of like a bajillion moving pieces. And learning to use all of it and implement all of the technology on your own can take years. It's taken me like five years. Now, the Passionpreneur Academy, I designed it to make the technology easy to understand. There's going to be no more bashing your head against the wall with frustration on how to use WordPress, Aweber, Hootsuite, Twitter, you know, how do you get leads. So by the end of the Academy, you're going to have everything that you need to get leads, to create ongoing marketing campaigns, and grow your business. So I want to share with you, these are the types of problems that this is going to, to pretty much solve for you. It's going to make technology super simple. It's going to teach you how to build uh, WordPress websites. It's going to teach you how um, you don't have to pay like any more expensive web programmers. You're going to learn how to use email marketing to sell your products and your programs. You're going to learn how to write emails that people are going to love to open and read. I, I get emails from people when I send out emails. They're like, oh, this was great. Thanks for sending this. I appreciate it. It's, it's, some people, are, I, you know, they think that I just wrote it to them, which is great. Um, you can be seen as an expert in your industry. You're going to have a, like extreme, immense clarity on who you are and what that you do. You're going to know what to post on social media, when to post it. You're going to know how to grow your list of subscribers. You're going to know the exact strategies to use social media you're going to learn how to create products and programs. You're going to master Twitter to acquire new leads. Um, we're going to have this training in there to walk you step by step. You're going to learn how to use webinars like we're on tonight to sell your products and your programs. So why did I create this for you? It's a good question, okay? Really good question. And the reason is because technology can be really confusing. I know it was really confusing for me when I first started out. And there was lots and lots and lots of information that I had to sort through on building a successful business. And honestly, it was super mind numbing. And keeping up with the marketing strategies that are working is like ridiculously time consuming. And so I've been speaking with lots and lots of people and they're having um, trouble with implementing the mechanics of modern day marketing. So the Passionpreneur Academy, I created to give you guys the outline to know the exact steps to take and to provide a hands-on learning experience to master technology and build your business rapidly. Now, here's a few results that people um, that have worked with me have received. Aldrima Harper, she said, before working with me, she knew a lot of the information that she needed to be doing, but she didn't know how to put it all together. And now that she's worked with me, she's starting to get signups to her list, and she even got her first uh, coaching client. Then Heather, she's my client in Bulgaria. And she went on and said, before working with me, she had like so many ideas. And by God, she did. She's still like, we still work together in a coaching capacity. And uh, she's like, she has so many ideas. This is like crazy. That girl creates faster than anybody I know. And she said, hey, I didn't know how to organize everything. And AJ made it really crystal clear on how to get it done and how I can help more people. And now that I've been working with him, my list has grown. I've created a membership program and I have people from around the world paying me. And so I highly recommend him to anyone who needs help to get their button gear and get things done. Now, the Passionpreneur Academy is gonna be for you if you are pretty much an author, speaker, a holistic practitioner, a healer, a coach, a musician, or a social media consultant. If you're someone who's tired of listening to the webinars and reading the eBooks and you're actually ready to get things done, then this is totally up your alley. If you're an action taker, if you want step-by-step -step guidance, if you have a message that you wanna share in a big way, if you want to make the world a better place, and if you want to create a global online empire, then this academy is totally for you. This is not for you. If you like to make excuses of why things aren't getting done, if you're lazy, if you're not serious about sharing your message in a big way, I would highly recommend just leave. Totally not going to be for you. 
So what in the world happens in the Passionpreneur Academy? What happens is you're going to learn business creation. Everything's broken down into modules, okay? So you're going to learn business creation. Like the first one is power. And it's going to get you to learning how what your power is, your message, and selecting your target market. So you're going to learn how to access your personal power to be able to attract new clients. And you're going to learn how to get really, really clear. I share a mapping system I use that helps everybody I come in contact with on how to get clear on who they are, what they have to offer, who their target market is and where this target is at, but more importantly, to believe that they have the certainty and the confidence to serve those people. You're going to learn how to build your website, website creation, building your empire's foundation. So in this module, you're going to learn how to build your WordPress website. You're going to learn the ins and the outs of setting your website. So this module is completely done. I went with a client, just a little side tangent here, uh, just on Saturday in my group coaching program. Uh, Robin was her name. She came in didn't have a website. Within three hours, we had a website. Literally built it from nothing to completion within three hours by just following the video training um, that's within the academy. Um, you're going to learn also client attraction, the secret to growing your email list. So you're going to learn how to create attractive email list building offer. You're going to learn how this step is crucial to building your email list and it's foundational to um, attracting new clients. You're also going to learn the automated follow-up system, how to discover how to make money while you sleep. So in this module, you're going to learn how to start thinking like a master marketer and create an automated follow-up process. And I call this process campaigning. And it serves as a filter and it sorts through leads, getting you qualified people to speak with. You're going to learn autoresponders, learn how to write email copy that converts and that people love to read. So you're going to learn how to write email copy that people are actually going to open, right? You're going to learn how to create a sequence of emails that it's going to automatically go out to people. And so by the end of the training, you're going to have a complete automated follow-up sequence. You don't have to worry about following up with people. It's just doing it while you sleep. It's building relationships with people literally on a global level. And it's offering them things that they can buy so you can start making money while you sleep. And you're going to be collecting leads while you sleep. It's pretty cool. I was just sitting and uh, my girlfriend and I woke up the other day and we looked at my mobile phone and uh, I said, hey, babe. While we were out hanging out with the family, um, we had four new people who came in and are in the webinar, or four more people who came in to get the thing, or I have this new call that's going to be with this potential client. And I was like, how cool is it to have a system where you're getting clients, you're getting your message out, you're helping people, but you can actually have a lifestyle at the same time. You're also going to have to learn the product and program creation. These are the exact frameworks that's going to create something that people pay for. Super, super simple. You're going to learn about webinars, how to use webinars just like this. You're going to learn the Twitter strategy. It's going to be there. Facebook, it's the exact thing that I'm using that's establishing a really solid brand for me. It's leading my tribe of fans. It's acquiring new clients. And it's my best marketing strategy for creating a campaign sequence within Facebook. Really, really good. You're going to learn YouTube, how to become a host of your own TV show. So YouTube is great for like expert positioning like super great to get people to perceive you as an expert so you can create your confidence, your certainty, and your credibility. And then also offline, you're going to uncover the magic to building your online empire. And so in this module, you're going to learn how to find out where your potential clients are hanging out offline and how to build instant relationships with them to effectively gain new paying clients. Hands down, um, offline is still where the big, big money is at. I mean, where you can do $3,000 deals, $5,000, $10,000 deals. There's been times when I've held events and made $7,500 just off the back end of an event of a super simple seven-person event. Now, here's my guarantee on this thing. I have one of the best guarantees around. So after the first month, if you feel you don't get enough value in the Passionpreneur Academy to transform your business, I'll give you a refund, 100%, no questions asked. You just shoot me an email and be like, AJ, dude, uh, this isn't working for me, and I'll give you your money back because I don't want you to pay for something that's not changing your life. I mean, if you are if you will implement the information within the academy, I know you're going to get results. I know it's going to change your life. And um, so, you know, no questions asked. You just tell me you need money back. It's yours. So what is something like this cost? Well, here's the deal. I could literally charge 6000 easy because if you're doing a website, I'm teaching you how to build a website in your platform over a lifespan of your business, how much are you going to make in a year? How much are you going to make in two years, 10 years? Like the knowledge that you're going to get from this is invaluable. 
If you go to a college and people are investing $20,000, $40,000, $30,000 a year for this tuition, it's because they're gaining the skill sets gonna, that's going to make them hundreds of thousands of dollars within the near future. But I'm not going to charge $6,000, okay? I'm not even going to charge $1,500 for something like this. Um, I don't want to. So here's the deal. This, this academy is still, it's in process. So this is like the beta version of it. So I'm rolling out new trainings throughout pretty much every other week. I'm rolling out a new training right now, okay? The first three modules are completely, completely done. So for the first five people who want to come and play, this is going to be one simple payment of $247. Or if you don't want to do the $247, you can make three simple payments of $97. So this is pretty much saving you $1,200, like over $1,200. Now, as promised, here's a few of the bonuses for those of you who are still around. If this is something that you want to do for the first five people, I will customly, I will personally custom design your social background uh, for Twitter to make sure it's, it's really expert positioning. I will also give you the YouTube secrets to establishing a personal brand MP3. I will also give you the keys to establishing a personal brand training video. Um, another video on social media mastery from my good friend um, Lori up in Canada. Um, another thing on recalibration to improve, improve your motivation and productive training by my good friend Liz Falk. Guys, this training completely rocked my world when it came to thinking about how food motivates me as an entrepreneur, completely changed my entire mindset when it came to health, nutrition, and production as an entrepreneur. Blew my mind. It was amazing. i also give you a training video on the emotional, mental aspects of money creation by my good friend, uh, Laura Gilson. So let me ask you this. Why in the world is this a good deal? Okay, so by the end of the academy, you're going to have the skill sets to continue to build and create an online empire. You're going to learn how to build your own websites. And people usually pay at least twenty five, at least $2,500 for a nice website. So this in and of itself is totally worth the price of admission. And you're going to have access to training that will make it simple and easy to build your business. It's going to guide you step by step to make sure that you're putting the things in place and taking the right actions to create a global empire. Now, you can uh, run around like a chicken with your head cut off if you want to. I grew up on a farm, still live on a farm, totally knows what that looks like. Not a cool thing. And you will build your entire platform, but it's going to take forever, okay? Now, most people spend four to five years putting all the pieces, puzzle pieces together. You're going to do this, you know, I say in 24 weeks. You can do this honestly shorter if you just depends on how fast you want to run, okay? Now, many times you have to hire several coaches to learn the individual skill sets. Now it's pretty much everything is under one roof. So how is this going to work? You're going to have access to on-demand video content and PDFs. So once you pay, you're going to have uh, automatic access to the passionpreneuracademy.com. And you're going to be able to access the content there. And everything's there in the modules that walk you step by step. There's PDFs that give you homework that allow you to print off ride on and that guides you through thinking through your business but then the videos walk you through step by step and you're also going to have uh, access to a private facebook group i call it a group facebook forum there's people in there now and they're dialoguing about their business what they're struggling with what's working for them what questions they have you'll be able to get feedback on things that you're creating and uh, that's what you're going to have access to so that's pretty much how it's going to work now here's the thing I'm going to open this thing up tomorrow to the world um, and tonight for you guys, if you guys will send me an email at aj at ajamix.com. Again, that's aj at ajamix.com. You can see it right here on the screen. And just let me know, you know, yo, I'm in, I, 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 I'm interested. Uh, send me an email and then I will get you the information first thing in the morning to make sure that you're going to have access to that content. So that's the training for the night. Before I conclude here, I'm going to open up, um, actually, I'm not going to open up the lines. It'll be chaotic. Let me do this. Let me, uh, let's see, how can I, okay. If you guys have any, I want to open up for questions to answer any questions that you guys have on Twitter, um, kind of getting the unlimited uh, leads thing built. If you will raise your hand here, I'll answer your questions. If there's no questions, so we're going to go ahead and conclude. So let's see if there's any questions here that come through. Is 
I'm still, I see a few people chatting here. Um, any last chance for hands that are going up? If not, I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and shut this down. And then, all right, cool. So I see Dan here. Let me unmute Dan, bring him into the conversation. Dan, the man, what's up, man? How's it going? It's going well, AJ. Thanks for the uh, excellent presentation here. Um, um, the question I'm typing is, can we get a recording of this session? Is there a, a link online that we can get to listen to this again? Yes. So it's not available right now. The recording is going to have to be right. processed and crunched down, but I will be sending out this recording to you guys to access. Okay. Thank you. You're most welcome. You're most welcome. Any other questions, Dan? No, not for now, AJ. I'm most interested. I'll be emailing you soon. Okay. Right on, brother. Appreciate it, dude. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Cool. All right. So Dan is awesome. Love Dan. Anybody else have any questions? If not, we're going to head and shut it down. Cool. All right. Well, I appreciate everybody that has attended today. It's been a great, everybody's been on, been a great time. So always remember, if you don't remember anything else from me, get clear, gain confidence, and create a freaking empire. Peace.